Hari Om. Welcome to our next lesson from the Bhagavad Gita. Uh, let's start with our opening breath. Since I'm in Italy, let's do it in Italian. Profundo inspiro, lentamente expiro. Feel the mind is clear and open. We left Arjuna in the middle of the battlefield. He had asked Sri Krishna to place him there. It's a huge battle, and there were tens, I think hundreds of thousands of warriors there. But uh, Krishna puts the chariot in front of two very specific people. Bhishma, who is very respected and right, rightfully so, a very noble person, one of the most noble in the kingdom. And the other person is Drona, who's been Arjuna's teacher since he was a young boy. And Krishna's only words in this first chapter of the Bhagavad Gita is, here's who you have to fight. And Arjuna was ready to fight all the not so noble people on the other side. But being put in front of these two great men, it had a deep impact on him, as we'll, we'll see shortly. And since this battle is taking place in our heart, we can think of it as the true self telling our soul that all our conditioning, all our samskaras ultimately have to be transcended. And we shouldn't be identified with even the good mental patterns that we have. There's a story uh, about Bodhidharma, who was a disciple of the Lord Buddha Apparently he got enlightened and his duty was to bring the Buddhist teachings from India to China. And um, even though he had probably one of the softest hearts on the planet, his external personality was very gruff and people were frightened of him. But this one man had this burning question, so he followed him for a while. Bodhidharma turned around and said, with his, held his cane up and said, you know, why are you following me? Get away. And the man said, uh, sir, I, I really have to ask you a question. I hope you'll, you can be patient and answer this one question. What's your question? Well, last week was my 50th birthday. And I spent the day on my own meditate, mostly meditating. And I got into a deep place, felt like the neutral zone. And I saw myself more clearly than I ever have. And it was pretty disarming and uncomfortable to see that even though I have a 50 year old body, I haven't matured emotionally since maybe the age of 12. I'm a pre prepubescent emotional being in a 50 year old body. Can you help me? How am I going to mature and become an adult? Bodhidharma said, well, have you killed anybody yet? Uh, no, sir, I, I never killed anybody. Well, what do you expect then? And Bodhidharma turned, kept going to China. So the man sat down at the side of the road. He had gotten the, the answer from the master, but he thought, before I do anything rash, let me make sure I understood what he said. So he caught up with Bodhidharma a few villages later. You again? I told you what to do. So I just want to make sure uh, if I kill somebody, then I'm going to grow up and become an adult. Not just anybody. You have to kill your mother. My mom was, the first time I told the story, my mom was in the, at this retreat uh, and I was telling the story and I saw her perk up. And so the man, again, sat down to the side of the road, quieted his mind, thought about what the master said. His mom had been dead for 10 years. So he went deep and he saw, he actually saw that his mom had infiltrated every part of his psyche, every thought wave, what we call vritti, that came up had some influence on his mom. His whole conditioning 
was uh, affected by his relationship with his mom. And he saw that killing his mom was not so much the right word. Actually, a nonviolent communication with her was probably more appropriate. He needed to pull his eye feeling out of his conditioning, out of his samskaras. For ourselves, we can start with our negative patterns, uh, but eventually uh, we have to recognize that we've never been the mind and we are something beyond that. Thank you for watching this, this week's video and uh, I'll see you next week. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti.